this bill does is it forces both the benefits and the potential drawbacks to be uh, shared with the parents of the child. Um, on its face, that sounds like a good idea. Sounds great. But if the physician is not aware, how can he advise him on it? Okay? There are many freedom groups who are starting to bring this information out, which you don't hear about. You ask any pediatrician. Matter of fact, I'll tell you, I know of a pediatrician who's been practiced for 60 years. He never heard of the 1986 law. Okay? He knows there's vaccine injuries, but he didn't know about the 1986 law gotcha. and how the dosage has increased. Nowadays, they give a, within 24 hours a baby is born, give it hepatitis B shot. But it's, it's got all this aluminum in it. You wonder why we have so many kids neurologically affected. And this is the dilemma we're dealing with, is the fact that the pharmaceuticals have control over the schools and teaching. And the mere fact they are not taught anything about vaccine ingredients and the harm to children. It is not taught in pharmacy schools nor medical school. I have a daughter who's a pharmacist, and she was not taught this. She learned only digging on her own after her own son was vaccine injured. I have a very vibrant grandson. This was over 18 years ago. He was very bright, engaged in everything. And what happened was he got a series of vaccine shots and we lost him. And he took a little while to come back to where he was and never regained the intelligence where he was before. And he went in for a second series of vaccine shots. And he was gone for a long time. I spent 18 years rehabilitating my grandson in order so he could maybe live his life and live in his own way. All you have to do is talk to a parent, any parent who has a vaccine injured child, and they will tell you what has happened. That's the dilemma we're dealing with, is the fact that credibility of the physicians, especially the pediatricians, they do not know this stuff.